Hello and welcome to Let's Build a Ship, part one, the hull. Now let's not muck around and get straight to it. I'm going to start off by uh, creating a disk of water. I'm uh, playing on a flatland map for building purposes and I just created a small glass cube in the air with world edit just there using the slash up one command and that's to start off the center of the ship. I'm going to build out from there creating the length out of wooden blocks. I'm going to use wooden blocks to start off the build because they're very easy to place and uh, you can see the, di the uh, sort of angles of the ship. They're really good to get a good feel of the shape of the hull to start off with. I'm bringing down the front of the ship here down the bottom of the hull. This ship's going to be based on uh, numerous reference images from Google. I just uh, googled ships, sort of 18th century, 17th century ships, and I'm just taking inspiration from images I find. Just there you saw me uh, lower the middle section, the deck of the hull, because I want a raised section at the front and the back the bow and the stern of the ship. This is the stern round here on the right hand side. Um, I'll actually come back to that later on and make it uh, more flat at the back because that's the way ships looked in those days. Now you can start to begin uh, pulling out the front, going around the side. It's making a framework for the hull. You start off with the frame, you get the height, which I've done, and now I'm doing the width. And I'm slowly filling in the sections with wood. Getting the curve is quite tricky sometimes. You have to keep zooming out and looking at the curve of the ship at the front, because you want the bow to be narrow but smooth at the same time. It has to smooth into the side of the ship. It can't be too wide and, and stumpy. It has to be streamlined to cut through the water. Most boats in Minecraft end in a one block point at the, uh, the bow of the ship because uh, that's the sort of thinnest point really you can get in Minecraft one block. You can see here I'm outlining the the, um, the curve of the ship, the hull, at the bottom because I want it to come out and then curve slightly inwards towards the deck. And I'm pulling, the, I'm extracting the wood to the bow of the ship, to the stern of the ship even. Just here pulling it all the way back, filling in the side. Most of the side of the ship you'll find when creating your own ships is more or less flat and it's just the uh, front which has a curved hull. The back is rather flat as well. Filling in the last wooden blocks here and that's half of the hull almost done already. I came back to it and uh, shaved off a bit of the curve to make the stern flat and you'll see there I added uh, the rudder at the back just in wood. I took a few fence posts here just to see what they look like. Bit of rope, bit of rigging on the side of the ship just to test out how it looks and then I zoomed out from the top and half of our hull was done. There's the rudder at the back right there. And now it's time to flip the hull because, you know, boats are symmetrical. Well, most are. So I'm going to use World Edit for this, taking two points either side of the ship to make a cuboid. And World Edit will copy what's inside the cuboid. I turn to my left and flip it and then paste it in the middle and it will flip. 
we'll paste the same on the left on the right hand side. And now I'll begin to fill in the deck. Just all in wood at this point. It's just a building material. You could use any type of block you want. You could use stone, you could use snow blocks. They're quite handy because they give you a good um, they give you a good notation of shading. And there we go. Our main structure of the hull was complete. I can now go on to painting the hull. I'm going to start off with uh, a small palette. I wanted most of the hull to be a dark colour to contrast against the blue, the dark blue sea, which the ship will reside in. So I began painting the hull, the inside main portion of the hull, leaving the bottommost point of the ship untouched. I'm going to come back later and colour that in, just to give it a burst of colour on the bottom, on the rudder. There we go, most of the side of the ship is coloured in black now. I'm going to take a white, or sort of grey, off-white colour to make two lines along the ship, just to give the illusion of, uh, well, sort of contours down the ship, so you can sort of tell the way the hull is shaped from a distance, because at the moment it's just black, matte, it's just flat black. You can't really tell the shape of the hull. So adding this line will give depth to your hull. It's always a good idea to do this because it will look better from further away. So I'm going to add a line of metal block. This is the Palcyon pack, by the way, on the Voxel Box. It's building on the Voxel Box server. Here I'm adding illusionary cannon holes. A lot of ships, even if they didn't have cannons, had these holes inside of them uh, to give the illusion or uh, deterrent to other ships to warn them that they might have cannons. I tried cobblestone slabs above them for um, trap doors like handle doors. They didn't look as good as um, metal trap doors. I also, also tried the bottom of uh, wooden doors, which you'll see me remove in this video, but I do come back to them because they do look good from inside, because you can um, open and close them. They work a lot better from a Minecraft interactive perspective than trap doors. So here I am, just filling in the last line at the top. Give more contour to the hull and then I'm changing the wooden blocks on the underneath the ship to a blue because I thought blue would go well with the ocean with the sea in which it will sit I'm going to try blue here okay, all the way around the edge and then I wasn't sure about the metal lines, so I made a new palette of all the different whites and greys in the texture pack. This is always a good idea if you're unsure about which colour to use, which shade to use, just pop down a palette and then test different colours like this. This is the snow white block, number 80 ID, which actually look quite good, it's very contrasting to the black and dark blue. This is double half stone slab, which also looks quite good. So there we go, the hull of our ship is complete. We've got the blue trim and the grey contour lines. We've got the cannon holes, We've got the rudder at the back. We've got the flat stern of the, of the hull. And the rigging, the rope on the top. And the deck is flat for now, but tune in next episode where we'll be adding much more detail to the weather deck, the top deck of our ship. 
and we'll also be adding the masts to begin with. See you then.